The anterior layer of the peritoneum is dissected away from the underlying vessel using curved male scissors. The vessel is then gently freed from the underlying peritoneal layer. A free window is created around the vessel, through which the tips of a hemostat can be introduced. The assistant passes the ligature on another hemostat so that the tip of the assisting hemostat passes below the tips of the instrument sitting under the vessel. The ligature can be easily grasped and passed beneath the vessel as the assistant releases their hemostat. The two ends of the ligature are then placed in a hemostat. This manoeuvre is repeated to pass a second ligature beneath the vessel. The first ligature is now tied in a reef knot with four or five throws when using Vicryl. The ends are placed back into the hemostat while the second ligature is tied. Once both ligatures are tied, the vessel can be divided using scissors. Take care to leave an adequate cuff of vessel distal to the knot on either side. The ligatures can then be divided. Finally, the posterior layer of the peritoneum can be opened with scissors. When ligating a pedicle, it is first necessary to dissect it free of surrounding tissue. Two hemostats are placed on the pedicle with the curve of the jaws facing each other. The pedicle is then divided, leaving an adequate cuff of tissue on either side. The assistant then takes one hemostat and the surgeon passes a length of ligature around the pedicle beneath the hemostat. Starting with the threads crossed, Form a backhand throw so that the index finger will come down to slide the knot into place and adjust the tension. The assistant then releases the hemostat to prevent the tissue bunching up. The knot is then completed with three or four more throws using the method previously described. The other end of the pedicle is then ligated in a similar fashion.
If a pedicle contains a significant vessel, you may wish to transfix the pedicle rather than simply ligating the structure. There are two possible techniques that may be used. Two hemostats are applied and the vessel divided, leaving an adequate cuff as shown previously. Using a monofilament suture, the curved needle is passed through the centre of one pedicle. For the first method, the suture is tied first with a backhand throw around one side of the pedicle. The two free ends are then passed beneath the hemostat to the other side of the pedicle. After the next throw is created and tightened down, the hemostat is removed. Further throws are created to complete the knot. The monofilament suture is cut, leaving slightly longer tails. The second method begins with the needle being passed through the pedicle as before. As the needle emerges, it is angled slightly away from you. Then, forming a loop at the front of the pedicle, the needle is again passed through the pedicle with the point angled towards you as it emerges from the tissue. The loop of suture at the front of the pedicle is tightened down and the two free ends passed beneath the hemostat. The first throw is made and the hemostat removed. Further throws are made to complete the knot, creating a figure of eight transfiction of the pedicle.